guys, Splitter Dasher back, and today in this video I'm going to be doing a mod with Destruction Bellfire, but right before we get started please hit that like button and subscribe, click the notification bell if you, if you want to see my next video come out, and tell me down in the comments down below if I, do, I should do stuff like this again, but other than that, let's start. So you know all um, my uh, Dynamite Belial can um, have the S gear on, but with those people who don't have Dynamite Belial and um, have Destruction Bellfire, you can actually put the S gear on the Hasbro Destruction Bellfire. And just put it on like that and you put it on exactly like you would with the normal Nexus disc. So I snap it in. I did need to snap it in here. Just a second. I don't know why it's so hard. There. There. Snaps in. And you can put this in low mode or high mode, but I recommend low mode. But you can also flip it so it can be free spin, but I like it in its tight mode. But we'll start off with the battles. And I have random Beyblades, so so I'll go to weakest to strongest. So every Beyblade will get stronger. And I'll possibly do DB Bays if it does very well. But other than that, let's get started. Okay, first we're gonna start off with Z Achilles. Probably one of the worst Beyblades out there. But, we'll see what happens. Oops, my bad. Here it has extra attack power, but it defeated one Beyblade. Now we're going to move on to the next one. Now we're going to move on to a Hypersphere Beyblade, um, Sword Achilles. So we'll start. By the way, not, not all the Beyblades are Hasbro. Some of them are to some of them are to Karatomians, but we'll see. Defeated Sword Sword Achilles, and now we're gonna move on to. Excalius from Hasbro. And I'll tell you when it's from Takaratomi, but it's not its stock combo. But we'll start the match up now. Since the slopes are all worn down, it has b really bad burst resistance. So I won't be surprised if it bursts. Destruction Bellfire wins. Excalibur lost. Now we're gonna move on to this Beyblade. 
I forgot what this Beyblade was called, so tell me down in the comments down below what this Beyblade is called. But it's not stock combo. And by the way, this driver is fake. So you won't be able to find it from Takara Tomy. But the fake driver was inspired by the Extend driver. But we'll start now. And I think this one has even worse burst resistance than Excalibur. And surprise, none of them are bursting yet. Because once we get stronger, um, I think might have a struggle. And I think Bellfire might have got it by a little bit. But if it would if you thought it was a draw, tell me down in the comments. And now we're going to move on to Valkyrie. And again, this is fake. That's why the B is upside down. And yeah, it's kind of worn down. So it's not going to do too great. But we'll see what happens now. By the way. By the way, if you wanted to know what Val Valkyrie's combo was, it was um it was ten um expand spiral. But we're gonna move on to the next one, which is Curse Satan um seven proof merge. The proof frame is this color because it's 3D printed and the layer broke and this is actually a real layer. It just broke after so many battles. But we'll start. Bellfire one and it was one click away from bursting so that was close so it hits a lot harder now thanks to that S gear but we'll move on to the next Beyblade which is this one and again I forgot its name tell me down in the comments about what its name is but we'll start the battle again. This one should burst. Like, really, this one, really bad burst resistance. Probably one of the worst hypersphere Beyblades in my opinion. Even though the shape is really good for attack power, its burst resistance is just really bad. And if you have bad, if you have Hasbro Beyblades with bad burst resistance, Go to my video to ha how to make Hasbro Beyblades unburstable, and I can and I'll show you a mod to make them pretty much unburstable. But this one lost, so we're gonna move on to the next one, which is a Pro Series Lord Spryzen. So now I'm going to watch Spryzen first, just because it's heavier than Bellfire. And by the way, it's in left spin. Just to give Bellfire a chance. But I'll put it in right spin too. I just think the Fusion Driver holds it back. If it had something like Atomic on it, I think it would do really good. Because the Lord Spriggan layer is just really good back in the GT. Back in GT. But I think Bellfire got that. Now we're going to put it in right spin. 
So if you don't know how to change it to right or left spin, you just take the chip out and you twist the layer and you put the chip back on, lock it in, and put the Beyblade back together. And there, Lord Spriggan is right in right spin now. So let's see if it does any better. Let's see if Destruction Bellfire can still win. But I highly doubt it. Because towards... Ooh, it's actually hitting me hard. Right now. Ah. But Spryzen Burst Bellfire. Our first burst. Looks like Lord Spryzen was our first winner. But now we're starting to get to some really dangerous ones now. Now we're going to be, we're on Judgment Joker from Pro Series. Um, by the way, this hits really hard, so I won't be surprised if it wins the spell fire. I'm going to have to relaunch that. Bellfire can stall it out, it'll win. But if Judgment Joker can get solid hits, Judgment Joker won. And it did, so Judgment Joker won. We got our second winner. And no surprise, to be honest. But Bellfire's still doing pretty good. It didn't burst immediately, so that's nice. Alright. Now we're gonna do... Um, Command Dragon from Pro Series. Let's start. Oops. By the way, the quick dash drivers make it hit really hard, plus the heavy layer on it, too. So Bellfire's gonna have to s just stall around the dragon if it wants to win. I think it's gonna burst again. And Bellfire won. So that's nice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Bellfire against these Beyblades again. And I'm going to put it up against the dominant spin direction. Only for these three. Because they destroyed Bellfire. I'm going to put them put the Nexus gear in its free spin mode. So now we're going to pop it in. Now it's in its defense mode. So let's start with Spryzen again. Let's see if it does any better with its defense mode. Looks like Spryzen won on stamina, but didn't burst it this time. So that's a plus. Now we're on Judgment Joker again. Now this one's gonna be scary. I won't be surprised if it loses. Even on stamina. Shoot, that's not good. Bellfire won against Judgment Joker. Looks like the free spin, the free spinning is actually doing something. And now we're on the last one. We're on Command Dragon. So it was able to won in its attack mode, but let's see if it can win in its free spin mode now. Of course, I'm gonna launch Dragon first because it's a lot heavier than Bellfire. Ooh, that was a hard hit from Dragon. A lot of solid hits. Bellfire's doing pretty good. 
Okay. Bellfire won that. So now we're going to do some bonus rounds. Um. So now we're going to put Bellfire... Now we're going to put it up against these. But... I don't think we should put it up against Astral Spriggan because it's just going to win. So we're just going to put it up against Cyclone Belial and uh, Cyclone Renrock. This one from, was from the random booster, so it wasn't the prize bay. And this one came with the Astral Spriggan starter set. I don't have the S gear because I have it on Destruction Bellfire. So it's just going to be Nexus Wave Dash. But we'll start the battles. We'll start off with Cyclone Ragnarok. And by the way, we'll do two battles with each of them. Uh, one in free spin and one in um, type mode. Or you can say defense and attack mode. But I won't be surprised if it loses. But again, it's been doing pretty good. I'm just seeing what I can do against DB stuff. Alright, looks like it lost in free spin mode. So now, we're going to put it up against Cyclone Belial. And see if we can do any better. Because it has a different driver on it. So we'll see if it does any better. Shoot, that was a hard hit. Getting some pretty good hits in it. Even though it's losing, it's doing pretty good. Not too bad. Alright, now we're going to put it in, it in its attack mode. And these two are going to be the last battle. I'm just seeing what it can do against DB instead of like Hasbro Quad Drive. But if you have any battles suggested, tell me down in the comments and I'll I'll try my best to do it. Like put it against all of my Quad Drive bays or a Pacific Beyblade. But we'll um, use Cyclone Belio again. Now it should hit extra hard since it's in attack mode. Ooh. Dang. Alright. Doing pretty good. But it lost. But it was a really close map. A really close battle. And now. The last battle with Cyclone Ragnarok. Let's see. All right. The Hasbro Venture Driver with the S gear isn't doing too bad. Looks like Cyclone Ryan Rock destroyed him. But now that'll wrap up this video. So if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Click the notification bell if you want to see my next video come up. And tell me down in the comments down below what battles I should do next with Destruction Bellfire in its um, modded uh, S gear form. Or any other Beyblade. Or I should make any combos that I should do. Um, but other than that, please like and subscribe. Click the notification bell if you want to see my next video come up. And tell me down in the comments down below what other stuff I should do on my channel. But other than that, Blader Dasher.